Richard. Good morning. My name is Brian Schilliger. I'm Senior Vice President at Dynamics. Dynamics was founded 10 years ago to solve some of the largest problems in payments, and we have. We have three businesses. We have a powered cards business, we have a real-time loyalty and software processing business, and we also have a phone business for mobile magnetics. Think LG Pay and all of the LG phones. Real quickly, what I want to do is go through our powered card business just to show you what the basis is, but we're here today to announce a brand new powered card product at Finnovate Spring. This is our powered card. You can see that it has a full battery, buttons, lights, and displays. The consumer presses a button. We rewrite the mag stripe, load the uh, operating system into EMV and contactless. The consumer presses a second button, and all of a sudden, it's a brand new card. The first card could have been a credit card. The second card could have been a debit card. Real quickly, here are a couple of products in, that are in market. This is the Tim Hortons double-double card. Consumer presses button number one for Visa. Button number two, it's a closed loop prepaid Tim's loyalty card. Many of you who have attended have probably seen that before. But this year, we have a couple of products launching in market. One is the Indistan Bank for India. This is actually six cards in one effectively. Consumer presses button number one for credit, button number two for rewards, or there are four choices where they can have installments, 30, 60, 90 day installments on button number three. Also this year in Japan, we're launching one of our high security cards. The Sumitomo Mitsui card company is launching this card. It's completely blank and it will not work unless the consumer puts a password into the card. They turn it on, push the password, hit enter. It'll get a green light if it's the right password. They show the pan so that we can um, look at that for online transactions or over the phone. And once the card is turned off, dipped, or swiped, we erase all the information. If the card is found or lost, it cannot be used. So today, we wanted to put, uh, bring up a new product to Finnovate. We want to show you something that we've done, and this is an award-winning product. The award-winning product, we went to CES. We won four awards, a Best of Innovation, and we won three Innovation Honoree Awards. Uh, we were told by a reporter it's never been done before. We then went to Mobile World Congress in February. We uh, submitted this card for three different categories, and we were nominated as finalists in all three categories. So this is the card. We call it the Dynamics Wallet Card. And what you can see is it's got uh, three features that we've combined with all of the other products. Number one, it's got a full display. This is an all-digital card. What that allows us to do is to put all of the payments information on the display so that you can see the card name, PAN, uh, expiration, CVV, CVC, and the network logo. Separately, it also is multi-account, so the cards can be loaded and shown all across the display. So that's the first feature. Second feature is it has a cell phone chip in it. People told us it couldn't be done. We actually demoed this at CES. We communicated over the airwaves, and what that means is your bank can download card information to your wallet. If you had one of these in your wallet right now, the bank could download new cards to your to the wallet card. And third, there's an organic recharging, a har power harvesting chip. What that means is the card will last forever or as long as the human has it because we needed more power to drive the cell phone chip and the display. With that, let's talk about a couple of the use cases. If there's a breach, you could get a message on your card that says, well, Sorry, your card was compromised. What we'd like to do is download a new card in your wallet. Don't worry, the other one's erased. There could be an expired card. Instead of waiting for the mail, it just comes right to you in your wallet card. If you uh, are out shopping, and all of a sudden you pull out your card and you see a message, thank you for uh, making your purchase in Singapore. You're going to think, I wasn't in Singapore. Delete that card, download a new card. If you go on vacation, you want to save a little bit of money, you might travel to Europe, all of a sudden, you could download a multi-currency euro card, a multi-currency pounds card, and now you can save on cross-border fees. So it could be another case where you go up to the POS, you swipe your card or dip it, and it says transaction declined. Today, none of us would really know why that is, but with the wallet card, the, cons the issuer can send down a message saying, sorry, you've reached your credit limit. Would you like an increase? Press the right button for yes, the left button for no. If you push no, the, con the issuer can send down another message, and it would say, why don't you use your debit card? There's enough funds the transaction will go through. 
So those are a couple of the use cases, but what we think is that's really not the killer app. Those are some killer technologies, the three, which are it's all digital, it's got a cell phone chip, and it's got organic uh, recharging so that the battery lasts forever. What we think is that issuers can now touch the hearts and minds of consumers with the wallet card by doing instant consumer messaging and very fast communications. So we'll go back to the wallet card. And you can see that if you had the credit card on, one day um, when the card is done, it turns off, you wake up, you go out, and you're going to make your first purchase. You pull your wallet card out of your wallet, and it says, happy birthday, John. Here's $5 off your first purchase. Thank you for being a customer of Emirates NDB Bank. Emirates has announced that they are launching this product at the end of the year with Dynamics. And I just want to leave you with kind of one more thought about how you might be able to use this card. You go to a racetrack in Dubai. Remember, this is an all-digital card. And you see that there's no name here. The issuer actually has that opportunity. It could be that the name is also just right on the card. But you go up to the tent. You go to the Emirates tent. They give you a card. You go to the kiosk. You put in your name and a little bit of information. They hand you an Emirates card. When you're all done, the card is loaded, it has your name on it, and then finally, you'll get a prepaid card that says, thank you very much for signing up, welcome to Emirates. There's a 200 dirham prepaid card loaded into your wallet, thank you. And now you can decide, would I like to go and buy some concessions, or take that 200 dirhams and make a big bet on the next trifecta? Thank you very much.